Hi, welcome to Hersco Online, your online resource for education on custom foot orthotics, custom shoes, and orthopedic devices. In this section, we're going to look at partial foot prosthesis. This is the second of a two-part series. In the prior segment, we looked at treating lesser amputations, such as hallux or lesser digits, or transmetatarsal amputations. The three factors that we're fighting with patients who have transmetatarsal or more severe amputations, such as a Liz Franks or a Chopart, are their inability to alleviate the forces from pressure, from shear, and from friction. One way to alleviate these stresses is to use a foot orthotic that has a socket type device. By creating a foot orthotic with a socket, what we can do is distribute pressure more evenly across the remainder of the foot. And then by lining it with a material such as a Spenko, or in this case an ecstatic, we can prevent motion which will reduce the shear and the friction of the foot inside the shoe itself. Patients that have had a transmetatarsal or a Liz Frank amputation tend to see that the remainder of the foot will drop and there's a lowering of the calcaneal angle. This leads to a posterior migration of the calcaneus, which is not the normal position of the foot. So it's also possible to increase or to tilt the angle and restore the calcaneal angle of the remainder of the foot as you construct the transmetatarsal amputation device. Finally, in order to restore third rocker for these patients and to get some benefit from energy return, it's possible to create the device so that the toe filler portion is included with a device such as this, a dynamic carbon AFO. This device has several benefits insofar as there's a spring effect from the full length foot plate and also because of the um, lateral strut and the tibial crest on the AFO, you get the possibility to transfer forces up to the lower leg and provide some energy return, which can help smooth out ambulation for the patient. In other cases, where a patient uh, is not willing to wear an AFO or it's not suitable for them, it's possible to make a plastic and leather type ankle gauntlet. One design that we found very helpful in these cases is to use what we term a go AFO, which is a rear entry ankle gauntlet. This makes it easy for the patient to don the device. The residuum is protected inside the actual gauntlet itself, and then a toe filler portion is extended, but it's now an integral part of the device, so the patient needs to only wear the ankle gauntlet, and they can slip it inside a regular retail orthopedic shoe. In all cases, when you cast a patient, send the shoe that the device will be worn in so the lab can get an intimate and custom fit inside the shoe and you won't have to make any changes or alterations as you're dispensing to the patient. For more information on handling partial foot prosthesis for these patients, please feel free to go to our website, herschel.com, and click on the Education tab. There's an article and a link there, Managing Partial Foot Amputees, that provides more information and some guidelines for casting. Thank you once again for joining us at Hersco Online.